Good Saturday evening. I'm meteorologist Kristen Ketchell. It was a sunny but chilly start to the weekend. Temperatures all across the area did not get out of the 30s. 31 was our high today in Virginia Beach. It was 38 in Suffolk. 35 are high in Newport News. Much colder than normal for this time of year, but we do have some warmer weather moving in as we wrap up the weekend tomorrow. With the cold temperatures, we at least had some sunshine today. And as we head through this evening, we'll see clouds increasing out ahead of our next storm system. Still a little disorganized sitting over the Gulf Coast right now. This is an area of low pressure and a cold front that will eventually make its way into our region as we head into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. But at least through your Saturday night and Sunday morning, conditions are looking dry. That cold front and low pressure system will arrive here as we head through midday tomorrow. So expect a warmer day out ahead of this cold front. As our winds change out of the south, it will push in some warmer temperatures. So highs tomorrow will be back in the 50s, but showers arrive after lunchtime and continue through tomorrow evening. The good news is that cold front very quickly slides offshore. We're looking mostly sunny, dry, and cool to start the week as high pressure builds in. That high going to stay overhead as we head into Tuesday warming our temperatures into the 50s with that sunshine continuing. Our future track is showing things staying dry through tomorrow morning. It is trying to kick a few showers and maybe a few spots of some freezing drizzle our way. However, I don't think this is going to be an issue for us here across Hampton Roads tomorrow. We are looking at a dry morning for most of us. Any threat of wintry precipitation going to be well to the north and west of Richmond. So I think things staying pretty quiet for us through tomorrow. And by the time this precipitation actually moves in, temperatures will be above freezing. So it will fall in the form of rain. That rain continues through tomorrow evening, eventually wrapping up by late tomorrow night. So if you're heading anywhere for the big game tomorrow, make sure you bring that umbrella. Dry start to our Monday as high pressure quickly builds in and we'll stay dry through Tuesday as well. As far as rain totals go, by the time all is said and done, looking at around a quarter to a half inch. So that's pretty standard here, not going to cause too many issues, but some periods of light to moderate rain definitely possible through Sunday evening. For tonight, increasing clouds and chilly winds out of the south at 5 to 8 miles an hour. Our overnight low drops to about 31 degrees. Rain moves in for your Sunday, breezy and warmer. Highs back in the 50s. Winds out of the south at 12 to 16 miles per hour, gusting up to 25. So a breezy Sunday for us here. And cooler temperatures follow behind that cold front. 42 Monday, 53 on Tuesday. So just briefly cooler for Monday. Wednesday at this point looks to be the warmest day of the week out ahead of another cold front, which will bring us a few showers, but temperatures before that front gets here near 60 degrees. Back in the 40s Thursday, 50s return for Friday. Next weekend we'll start dry with some showers moving in Saturday evening with a high near 54.